hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Jana and today I'm doing something a little different than normal I'm going to be making something sweet it is December 21st 2018 we're about to end the year and I was wanting to send a little gift package and I know Christmas is just a few days away and I know the soldiers have probably had all their goodies and their cookies and sent to them but I'm sending this because it takes about 14 to 18 days to get to them from where I'm my location for a package for them to receive so I know they're going to be going into the middle of January almost Super Bowl kind of situation so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making homemade caramel corn for them and it's my old old recipe that I used to make when the kids were little I'm going to share with you what I do and how to make it. So first of all, um, hold on for a second. Let me bring you around. And um, I don't know if any, this here, this metal pan I had for years, I mean years. And what I, I've always used this um, to cook my caramel corn and what I have done is I had gotten a box of microwave popcorn and I just popped it back in the day I noticed the bags were much bigger so I would have probably put to be honest with you about six bags of the large bags of popcorn in there and here I probably put for the smaller portion of it um six seven eight maybe eight to ten bags that's in there so I have the pan and what I did is with this metal pan I have here there's Paloma she's talking to ginger in there <laughs> they're dancing so what I did is I sprayed it with Pam spray I used the olive oil um, so I made sure I sprayed all in the inside before I had dumped all the popcorn in there, okay? And so right now this is going to be waiting for the caramel to be cooking before I pull it up. Meanwhile, while you're heating up the popcorn, I would set your oven, it states on the instructions, 250 degrees. Um, with me being a higher altitude, I'm learning to up the temperature um, a little bit more on my oven kind of situation. Hope that's not too much lighting. Hold on, kids. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna angle down. I The recipe calls for six quarts of popped popcorn and you'll be needing to have a, um, a cooking spray of any kind that you like and then you'll be needing one cup of butter or margarine years before I used to use margarine this year um, I won't be eating of this the soldiers will and Ray will so I'm going to use butter and um, so I have a cup right here then what you'll be needing to have is two cups of firmly packed brown sugar and what I had you can get light brown sugar you can get brown sugar or dark brown sugar I got dark brown sugar and I'll show you the box that I had gotten I don't like it always seems like you pick up the bigger bag but I just got the smaller box right here just like so and I only have a little bit left of it like so so um, this box size you're looking about 16 ounces one pound so here is one cup firmly packed and then you have another one firmly packed from there you will be needing to have a half a cup of light or dark corn syrup again I am using the dark corn syrup and I have that in my measuring cup right now for us I I guess the reason why I go more with the dark to be honest with you is because I feel it gives it more of a smoky caramel kind of taste to it then what you'll be needing you point you back down Maybe I can get a good angle so you guys can see what I'm doing There we go. All right. So the next thing that you're going to do, 
Let me make sure I have that. Okay, you will be needing one teaspoon of salt, and I have that right here, one teaspoon of salt. From there, you'll be needing a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and that's what I have here. Then the very last ingredient is going to be vanilla, and it is one teaspoon. So what the recipe reads is, you preheat the oven to 250, coat the bottom and sides of the large roasting pan with a non-stick cooking spray, place the popcorn in the roasting pan, which we have done. So in a heavy pan, slowly melt the butter and stir in the brown sugar. I just pulled this out so it's not really too soft. So what I'm going to do, give me a moment kids. Um, okay, I'm going to turn on my burner. I love working with gas stoves. I don't Ray rather have electric, but I just love the gas stove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a half a cup there, and then I'm going to drop another half a cup to make it one cup of butter. Maybe what I need to do is bring it a little closer. I wash my hands. It's been a really, really good day. I had gone to Best Buy and I finally, finally got a replacement battery for my Canon, my, um, my who I called John. And um, so I'm getting ready for the new year. 2019 is going to be my year for photography. I just cannot wait. I'm almost done getting the house all organized. And so right now um, I'm getting my equipment ready, my technical equipment ready. And um, finally I got my battery. So what I'm doing here is um, it is melting. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Let me move this spoon thing here. Also something like this, I spray too. And the reason why I spray that with the, the spray is because the caramel gets very sticky. And another thing that I spray is going to be the spoon. I always spray the spoon too. You know, I, anytime I make like Rice Krispie treats or I make um, anything with candy, um, I always spray it down. So, so far I'm going to show you what it looks like. The butter is melting like so. I need a nice overhead kind of <laughs> camera for all of you. Let me put you down so I won't. There you go. So then after that, this thing is so old. Years, 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 years. The kids were little. Um melt butter and then what we're next step that we need to do is we're going to need to stir in let me put my syrup away uh, is i am needing to stir in my brown sugar what i'm going to do i'm going to pause you because i'm going to try to put you on a tripod so you can see this it's going to be almost like a chemical reaction so Give me a moment and I'll be right back. Well, the tripod didn't work. So what I did is I put it on uh, something here. So I will lift it up and show you how it looks like. So right now the, the butter has completely melted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sugar, um, the ingredients, stir in the brown sugar. Go ahead and dump that in there. One two cups of firmly brown and then you also need to put in the corn syrup bring that down a little bit as the temperature just a little bit Wizard of the Oz is on on the TV <laughs> it reminds me of Sid Sid she always loved Wizard of Oz. Okay. 
Alrighty, so that is the syrup. The next thing that it's asking for is going to be the salt. So I'm going to grab the salt and put it in there. Whoops, excuse me, I apologize. And I'm going to bring up the heat a little bit and I'm going to stir that together. Now, it says heat to a boil. Okay, I'm just breaking up the brown sugar and it's asking us what it wants us to do is to heat to a boil. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more. And then what it says, stirring constantly. Boil without stirring it for five minutes. So what we're going to do right now is I'm just mixing all of the ingredients together. I'm gonna So good. I've not had any sweets forever. So, right now we're wanting it to come to a boil. And it's boiling. I'm going to show you. When I'm comfortable, I'm going to start the timer. Hey Google, will you set me a timer for five minutes? Okay, five minutes. Starting now. Okay. So I'm going to lay my spoon down and so I'm going to show you what it looks like. You come out. Ooh, sorry guys. So this is what it's going to look like. Maybe I should turn it up just a tad. It's been a long time. Remember, don't stir it. There's such temptations to stir that. And um, that's the key, is not to stir it. So right now, my wonderful trusty friend, Miss Google, she has the timer going. And um, she'll let me know. Now it's looking good, yes. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, if anyone's ever made candy before. Just like so. My oven is now at its temperature, so we've reached our temperature. It's looking good, guys. So while that is boiling for um, five minutes, the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to mix in the remaining ingredients. And I'll keep you with me so you guys can see what's going on. There's such a really cool um, reaction that happens. And then I'm going to um, pour it all over the popcorn and then mix it. I'm going to use the same spoon that I have been using for the um, caramel. Hey Google, how much time do we have left on the timer? T minus three minutes and 20 seconds. Three minutes and 20 seconds. I really love the, the, the Google and also the Alexa. I have both of them. And I have them doing different things in the home. And it's so funny. I have, it's, it's it's so nice because I just have to come in a room and say something and the lights come on or or they I, they can shut them off and um, reminders shopping list is just remarkable I'm really really enjoying this um, what I would like to do is invest one of those um, Google hubs situation so I'm thinking here um, when Ray gets back maybe we can invest in one of those and um, that would be a nice investment to have on the counter. Also, I have the, I don't know if any of you have been watching me, but I'm going, I have a planner down here. I'm starting the planner upstairs, but this will be the home planner down here. I don't drop that. 
so we both can um, it'll be on the counter so it'll be much more easier for he and I to communicate when um, he gets back you know if we're wanting to go out to a restaurant or we have plans and maybe I schedule something and I need to look on the calendar situation I'm going to show you what it looks like now so you have an idea this is what it's looking like and this is the popcorn here and there's Mr. Badness and Miss Ava and then who else do I have in here? I have Paloma and then I have Ginger. Yeah. Oh, and we have Luna. Luna. So the babies are resting. Hey Google, how much time do we have left on the um, timer? T minus one minute and 14 seconds. Okay. When that alarm goes off, what the next steps of instructions that we need to do is it states here, heat to a boil, stir constantly, okay. Heat to a boil, stir in constantly, then boil without stirring for five minutes, which we are doing. Then we'll need to remove this from heat and what I'll do is I'll shut this off. Stir in the baking soda and the vanilla and then gradually pour it over the popped popcorn mixing well baked for one hour and stirring every 15 minutes remove from oven completely cool and break apart and store in lightly covered containers or tightly covered containers and it makes about six quarts so it's going to be nice so when i am doing a task around the house i'll have google have the alarm go off every 15 minutes so i'll know to stir it you can smell it just that brown sugar and that syrup that dark syrup it just smells so heavenly it's like oh my goodness hey google cancel timer okay i'm going to shut it off and what i'm going to do i'm going to add in the vanilla i really want you to see this this is the part that i really 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 like like so and what we're going to do we're going to stir it in It's going to almost like a marshmallow kind of situation. Let that rise up. There we go. And here it goes. I don't know if you see it. It's like it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It is so pretty. You can see the metal here, the blue metals, is coming to the to reach them pretty soon. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do, let me put you down so you can see what I'm going to do. It gets a little hot, let me make sure I angle you down, guys. There you go. So, I'm, the heat is turned off, so I'm gonna move him over there, and then I'm gonna have my caramel corn, okay? And then what I do from there is I just pour just a little bit at a time, like so. And then what I do is I stir it around, mix it in, And you're going to say, that doesn't seem like much caramel for all that popcorn. Believe me, with the heating up, it, it spreads out. It thins out beautifully. It's wonderful. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more of the caramel. There we go. Oops. Make sure I get all of that. All right. Oops. I'm about to fall. There we go. And so when every 15 comes up, don't be careful. I want you to be careful, little girl. Paloma's picking up the crumbs and I don't want her to burn her mouth.
Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stick this in the oven. I've already, I probably should have suggested that um, before I had um, heated up the oven. I always lower the racks. I should have suggested that, I apologize, guys. So when you make this, make sure you lower the racks or take a rack out for your big pan. And if you want to, you know, decrease the size. Okay, so put that there. And I'm gonna cook it and put it in the oven. Put this here. So I know it doesn't look that much, I mean caramel, but by the time it cooks, it'll look really golden, really pretty. So here what it looks like. And um, hold on just for a moment. I'm gonna open up the bottom part of the oven. Be careful, I don't want you to get hurt. Okay. Alrighty. Hey Google, will you set me a timer for 15 minutes? Sure, 15 minutes. Alrighty, I'll be back. I'll let you see what, and we'll stir it and see what it looks like. Okay, guys, um, it just came out of the oven, and I'm going to stir it up. I pulled it out with a hot pan. You gotta be very careful. It's a very, it's yeah, it's it's hot. So right now I'm just stirring it. you guys can see that it looks really I mean it's already starting to spread very thin which is nice and you just want to stir up the popcorn get the caramel within the bottom you know you don't want it to get stuck on the bottom kind of situation and um, so right now we just did our first 15 you're going to have you're going to do that every 15 minutes so one two three well the last so four times four and um it smells amazing okay you can also add nuts like um spanish peanuts or anything that you would like to have additional you know maybe i don't know who likes you know kind of situation um added into their popcorn too so right now get this corner and get this very corner very well and you can tell my spoon is bending it's a very there's a lot of popcorn in there a lot okay so what i'm going to do Put it back in the oven for 15 minutes and um, we'll stir it again. Okay. <laughs> Soul's down here. So you need to be careful, you're gonna get burned. <laughs> yeah, sure, gonna get burned. So, oops. Hey, Google, shut off timer. Maybe I can save this. You can almost make popcorn balls the way it is. Yes, everything's clean, kids. I don't want you to think that, you know, I don't want you. So, what I'm gonna do is put it back in. Hey, Google, will you set the timer for 15 minutes? All right, 15 minutes, Kipoo? starting now. Okay, That's what it looks like so far. It looks really good. Alrighty, we'll leave that in and I will be back for you guys. So I am back. I am going to give you a tip about this caramel corn. And this is what makes it rock. And it's a secret that I have used for years. Now, that's a lot of popcorn, a lot of caramel popcorn. And how am I gonna let that cool? And you never notice when you get caramel corn, it's just like crispiness kind of situation. How does that candy harden across that, you know, how it, the hard candy coats around the popcorn and then it just, it's just that crunch sound to it. 
The cooling technique is very, very important to your popcorn. So what I did back in the day, and today I was scared to death because you don't see them anymore as you used to. I used trash bags. So let me show you what I do. I was very blessed to have found some trash bags. So I cut open at least four to five, depends on how big my surface is. Here I have cut four. I have one, two, three, and then one going across. And then I'll dump my popcorn on here. So then I can lift it up from underneath kind of situation if I needed to break it up, so if it's still um, hot. But this surface just right here gives it, it crispiness it believe me this is like the key the 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 golden key is like oh that's what they do so i was very very blessed to have been able to get a lot of bags so i need to make sure that i store these properly i don't want them to get nasty so maybe when ray gets back we can make another batch and maybe give it to the soldiers here for them to enjoy for um, Easter I think about that time will be Easter time so that is the hint that, that I will tell you I mean that is I don't like using wax paper I don't like using foil I don't it's just it, this is so much easier for it to cool off and after you it's cooled off and you broke it up and you know that kind of situation you can put it in your containers what I'm going to do which will be much easier on um, Ray, this is what he requested. I'm going to have put it in Ziploc bags and then I'm going to put labels on them and I'm going to write on there um, from the Hernandez family. So I already had the labels already. So what I'm going to do is with the plastic Ziploc bags, I will attach a, a, a label on there for them. So he can just pass them out to whoever, to everybody that would like it. So yeah, those are some ideas that you can do. I had bought some Tupperware dishes, but Ray had rather me for the weight situation. So I'm doing what he's asking for him. So, but yeah, that is, if you're not going to be shipping it across the ocean, if that makes sense, make sure you have a very tight seal container. Even when I do the packaging of the caramel popcorn, I will make sure all the air is out of the bag so it doesn't get stale situation. Um, the popcorn won't last very long, meaning it will it will get eaten before it even goes bad. So um, yeah, let me show you what it looks like in the oven. Oh, there we go. It looks so yummy. So I will be right back with the next um, time and that should be our 30 minute mark. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. We are at the 30 minute mark. I'm going to take out the pan. Like so. I don't know if you're able to tell, but let me show you. The difference so far um, it's starting I'm gonna stir it again okay guys yeah so I'm gonna put you down here hopefully you guys can see that there you go okay let me grab my palm holder it's taking on that caramel look the the caramel is like thinning out meaning it's coating itself on on all of the popcorn. Okay. It's turning out really good. It's a nice batch. Now, you guys, if you want to make extra caramel, if that makes sense, you really wanted it coat, coated, just double the recipe or, you know, add a, a, a recipe in a half situation. You can do that to your liking of what you like as your caramel corn. Ooh, I don't want to drop any. <laughs> Oh, 
hopefully you guys can see the difference of that. It looks really, I mean, it's turning out really, it's been years, years. Oh, uh, 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 uh. No, that's dangerous. I love you, Paloma. You would not be a happy baby girl. Um, it's been years. I would say five, six years since I've made this. So I think I've given the recipe to my daughter. So she has it. And then um, I think DJ has it too. So Sydney and DJ both have it. Um, I know they enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I've ever made a puree. We will see. I, I he'll, he'll have to remind me. I really do not remember, to be honest with you. Okay, guys, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna put her back in the oven. Hey, Google. Would you, will you set the timer for 15, 15 minutes? Sure, 15 minutes. Starting now. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Okay. So now it's in and I will be back. Okay, the timer just went off again. Oh my goodness sakes. Check her out. Woo! Beautiful. Let me get that stirred up. Oh, that looks so wonderful. As you can tell, it's really coating itself along the, the popcorn. Um, one, two, three. This is the last 15 in. So um, I'm gonna put it in and when I come back, I'm going to re-stir it again and then dump it on the paper bags for it to cool before we put it in the baggies for Ray and the soldiers and the DOD over in overseas. Okay. Let me see. see that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Be able to focus. Let me see. It looks really, really heavenly. And the thing is, I cannot have none. Yeah, it looks good. So you guys can tell when we first did it, it was very, very light, but when it slowly cooks in that oven, it, um, let me get the babies. It, um, I think that's Luna. <laughs> I'm a coming baby girl. <gasps> and Ginger and Sol. Let me turn, and Ava, let me turn it around. It's very cold outside. Come on, my babies. Come on. Those two just play and play. Come on, Eva. Come on. And then Blues. Let's see where Blues. I bet she's laying on the couch. She just. Whoop, hold on. I'm sorry. Come with me. Badness. Hello, baby girl. Hello. Let's see if I can find Blues. Miss Blues, what are you doing? What are you doing, beautiful? Everyone's watching the. Wizard of Oz and the flying monkeys, the flying monkeys. So I'm going to put it back in the oven, let it go um, for 15 more minutes, and then I will come back and I will re and stir it and we'll dump it on the, the paper bag. So we'll be back. Okay, the last timer just went off and I'm going to turn off my oven so I won't forget that. Guys, you need to move. I don't want you to get hurt. Vamanos. Vamanos. Andre. Okay. Hot, hot. I don't want you to get No, no, Ginger. You're the baby. You're so curious. Okay, so before I stir it, 
so far this is what it looks like as you can tell the, the caramel or the caramel depends on how you like to say it has spread evenly around Santa Claus had dropped off your presents early. Yes, he did. In fact, I had to make sure that we wrap these presents for all of the good little babies. Yes. Okay. And there's a few kernels on there, not too bad. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move you guys, move you over here. Badness, what's wrong? further. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, let me grab my pad. And that sound you probably hear is the dishwasher. It's running all over. Oh, guys, be careful, please. And what I do is I just dump it. Make sure you don't get it on the floor. This is not, probably not healthy for your doggies. And it come clean, as you can tell. Spraying it really, really helps. So what I do now is I just bring it out. And this is where the seeds are gonna to fall to the bottom. Just kind of move it right through there. Just a few right there. And I let I let that cool. Oh, it smells so heavenly. Oh my goodness. And you can tell where all that caramel is all over. It looks like hair, but it's caramel. It's like I'm freaking out. You know, having all the babies. So what I do is just, just try to break it down a little bit so it can evenly cool. I, I don't push very hard because I don't want to, um, how do you say it? Um, I don't want to destroy the popcorn. I don't want it to, you know, break it down, meaning crumb situation. And I'm going to be honest, I did taste some when some fell on the stove and um, it tastes, I'm, I'm really happy. I wanted to make sure I tasted it because if I didn't taste it and I sent it to Ray and I gave it to the soldiers, <laughs> I would have been horrified, horrified. So yeah, now we're gonna let that cool probably a good hour to 45, okay, it's a baby plane. 45 minutes, see how it hardens up again. I don't know if you see that over there. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty, it's a large there. And I bet we have a bag here. Probably about four bags, um, gallon bags. So I'll be back and um, we'll bag it and then I will put my labels on it and show you. And um, yeah, you, see, you hear that sound? That's what I mean by the paper. Um, it just makes it that crispiness. So yeah, alrighty, I'm gonna let my spoon, yeah. I've used these for years and I'm always bending them back. Always bending them back, but they're my favorite spoons I use for this. So, yeah, it, it, it's, I'm really, really, really happy. Ooh, yes, there's a spot here that I see has some seeds in it. And the reason why I'm doing this is when I put start putting it in the bag, I don't want the soldiers to have to get a crown. <laughs> that would have been horrible. So, Alrighty, we'll let that cool and I'll be back. So what I'm doing now is um, I just grabbed a cup, a measuring cup, 
I don't think everyone would want my hands all over the caramel corn. So I'm just scooping them up in the bag. on the babies I'll be right back okay everyone's fine it's just they were talking and they were voicing their opinion and yeah you, you gotta love it you got to love it And also, I'm going to be really honest, the, the moon, I don't know if your animals are the same way, um, but they really, it really affects their personality and um, they, oh my god, that on the floor, they, um, where'd it go, there it is, um, they're very, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're funny. And so when it's a full moon or a new moon, yeah, the babies act up. Or when there's a storm coming in, believe me, I think we're expecting some rain situation. So, or an earthquake. Oh my goodness, blues alone. She knows when an earthquake is about to hit. You know, and the ground's very, she acts very, very differently, to believe it or not. So. I've had a really, really good day. Um, I am just trying to get the house ready for um, my sweetheart. So when he returns, he will come home and comfort. I mean, don't get me wrong. I just want him to like, oh, a breath of fresh air when he comes in. So I'm gonna finish up um, bagging these up and then I'll come back and show you how I put the labels on. So I will return. So right now, um, I just finished up a card for Ray, and I'm getting the box ready to get shipped out tomorrow. And it only made me um, four bags, which I'm okay with. Um, I'm going to be really honest, and I, Ray will say if I'm saying the truth or not. I double bagged them. I double Ziploc bagged them. I have one Ziploc in there, then one here to make sure there's no air in them, you know. And... Um, you know, let me move this up. You know that kids, are we okay? Okay. You know, when you were little and when you got that first box of Cracker Jacks, that's what it tastes like. That caramel taste, it's heavenly. So I do pray that the soldiers and the DOD um, Anybody who who gets what they're getting. I hope they enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed this video um, I will link on the um, on the bottom of this video to um, the recipe and um, From there um, I will share more of my little secrets that I have Please if you will if you found it a lot of um, something that someone else would like out there share this if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. My goal for 2019 is 1,004 subscribers. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, that's a lot. So if, if you can, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified for the next video. Mr. Charles is up here. No, we don't know if he's little bit of kitties. And then um, as I, <laughs> hold on. Babies, 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 come here, come here, come here. You're never in the videos, come here. So what, oh, sorry Ginger, it's okay. So what I wanna to say to you, here's Charles. 
Here's Charles. He's like, oh, goodness sakes, mommy. So what I would like you to do, be good to yourself. Be good to others. It's because we just don't know what part of their journey they're on. Come back and visit me, and um, I'll share another good recipe with you guys. I love you, and um, have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Say bye. This is Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Yes. He's about 13 years old. Yes, you are. You're such a baby. So, we'll see you soon. We love you guys. Bye.